the tiger could no longer hide his ambitions for the land. And so Sun Jian fell to a plot by Liu Biao, who feared his strength. Hurriedly, Sun Jian's son, Sun Tzu, fled Jing and sought refuge as a retainer of Yuan Shu. Sun Jian had given his life to protect his family and his friends. Determined to carry on the will of his father, Sun Tzu made a decision. He knew that Yuan Shu was determined to keep him close, but only to stifle his true potential. For he feared that Sun Tzu's ambition and military skill would grow to match those of his father. While he had no troops or land to call his own, Sun Tzu did have the support of his family and friends. And so, Sun Tzu decided to trade the Imperial Seal to Yuan Shu. In return, he would receive his freedom and a small regiment of troops. Sun Tzu joined up with his friend, the brilliant Zhou Yu, and together they set out for Jiangdong. It was a place that still contained the memories of his late father. And in this way, the fires of Sun family ambition were passed down to a new generation. After defeating Liu Yao, Sun Tzu continued his advance. Having quickly subdued the lands of Jiangdong, the people elected to give him a new name. The Little Conqueror. They compared him to the legendary conqueror Xiang Yu, who had overthrown the Qin Dynasty. Meanwhile, in the Central Plains, the hero of chaos, Cao Cao, was steadily increasing his strength. After the Emperor fled Chang'an, Cao Cao took him under his protection and moved the capital to Xu Chang. In possession of the Imperial Seal, Yuan Shu used it to declare himself Emperor in order to block Cao Cao's grab for power. However, Yuan Shu's claim was ignored and an Imperial Edict was made to slay him for his treachery. For the authority of the Emperor lies not in a mere object, but rather in he who wields the most power. These wise words of Zhou Yu would soon be proven true. Sun Tzu moved to obey the Edict, and together with his family, attacked Yuan Shu at his base of Shou Chuan. Also present was Cao Cao, as well as Liu Bei, whom Cao Cao had taken into his protection. Sun Tzu's heart burned with a fiery passion as he came face to face with these two great heroes of the age. That man, Cao Cao. I don't trust him. It is men like him who we must keep an eye on in the future. He doesn't seem so great to me. He just looks like a creepy old man. Keep it down, will you? <laughs> I'd be careful what I say if I were you. This is Cao Cao's camp, after all. And you are? My name is Liu Bei. I came here to pay my respects to the little conqueror of Jiang Dong. Sun Tzu, there is something I wish to ask you. Yeah? What can I do for you? Yuan Shu is holed up inside his castle. First, we must break down the castle gates. So I would like your army to attack the western gate. Understood. Please, leave it to us. Excellent. I am counting on you.
So you're the daughter of Sun Jian. I have heard much about you. I hope it wasn't anything embarrassing. Well, let's talk about that later. Now, let us speak of the plan to defeat Yuan Shu. <laughs> I can see that your beauty hides the spirit of a true warrior. <laughs> Why, thank you. I don't think I could receive a nicer compliment. Come, Xiang Xiang. We must make for the Western Gate and aid our brother. Hey, sis. Did you pay a visit to Liu Bei? Hey, Zhou Yu. Is it true that Se is really going to kill Yuan Shu? It is an order from the Emperor himself. A loyal servant of the Han has no choice but to follow the orders he is given. Your brother's decision is the correct one. There is no need to concern yourself over the matter. Thrust! Sweep! We must prove the might of Cao Cao's army! The captain's always trying to make a good impression. So that is Zhou Yu. He's very pretty, isn't he? It must have been difficult for Sun Se to accept my request. Yuan Shu is the protector of the Sun family. I would have thought it difficult for them to attack him. Lord Sun Se has grown to be a great man. He loses nothing even beside the great men of those other mighty families. I heard Cao Cao say that Yuan Shu was like a rotting skeleton in a graveyard. If I can help my lord in any way, then I will be happy. Come on, boys. Train harder. We mustn't bring shame to our lord. We must shine more brightly than any army out there. I couldn't believe it when Yuan Shu took the mantle of emperor. It's amazing how much a little seal can change things. I finally understand why our lord was so troubled. I wonder how Lord Liu Bei and Lord Cao Cao like fighting together. They don't exactly look like the best of friends. The orders have finally been given to take down Yuan Shu. I'm looking forward to seeing him beg for his life. The one known as Zhou Yu seems to be quite capable. Lord Shaho Duen has the complete trust of his lord and his men. We haven't time to waste. To battle! Understood. Come, Shang Xiang. We must make for the Western Gate and aid our brother. Delusions of Imperial Grand. Quite frankly, we'd be better off with him gone. Indeed, the people are suffering under his leadership. For their sake, he must be removed from power. Fighting to free the people. A selfless man indeed.
Perhaps his time is up. There is no point in standing beside you and Shu any longer. You can count me out. Who says a woman has to be weak? Serve a fool any longer. If we use the ballista, we should be able to reach the castle walls. Come. Good job, sis. I'm gonna pick up the pace. work, my sister. That's it, my sister. Very well done indeed. This area belongs to us now. Prepare the battering ram. It is time to break down the gate. with a ballista. That's better. And now to open the gate. It's time. Use the ram to destroy the gate. Gates open. Let's go. So you are my next Witness opponent. The of my I'll crush you like all of the others. Never forget. I'm here to win. Win and win some more. Good job, sis. I'm gonna pick up the pace. 
can't see you and Shu anywhere. We'll have to conduct a rigorous search of the castle. If I can't hide, then I'll have to fight. Come with me, my lady. It is too dangerous to hurry forward alone. You are most kind, my lord. Search all you want. Lord Yuan Shu isn't here. Well done, my sister. I hope you don't expect to beat me, though. Prepare to march. Everybody, show the enemy what you're made of. I can't believe it. I've never met someone so strong. Who says a woman has to be weak? Searched everywhere, but there's still no sign of Yuan Shu. You would flee like a rat, Yuan Shu? After him! It is time to give Yuan Shu the punishment he deserves for the sake of the people! You and I are much alike, my lady. You seem out of place in this land of war. <laughs> Then that makes you just as out of place as me, my lord. Well done. I have enjoyed watching you fight. You and Shu means nothing to me now. I will do what you ask. That you and Shu lives like a king. Well, I'm going to take some of this treasure. I am the Emperor. Grovel before me! I can't believe I lost to someone as strong as you. Who says a woman has to be weak? Magnificently. I am assumed too. This is all in a day's work. I must retreat. This is not the end. Is this my fate? A lot of fun fighting alongside you. I assure you, my lord, the pleasure was all ours. So, what are you going to do now? You're not just going to keep on working for Cao Cao, are you? <laughs> well, I hope that we can fight together again someday. My lady. Your brother is like a burning flame. His brightness attracts all who encounter him. You are lucky to have such a strong man by your side. Until we meet again, my lady. Why is it always about my brother? Yuan Shu's army was decimated by the efforts of Sun Tzu, Sun Shang Xiang, and the others. However, the little conqueror's eyes were already focused on the next threat to his plans. His name was Cao Cao, the hero of chaos. He was a man who would sacrifice anything to realize his ambitions.
be it his friends, his people, or even the emperor himself. As they fought side by side, Sun Tzu saw and understood the dark nature of Cao Cao's heart. Following the defeat of Yuan Shu, Liu Bei rebelled against Cao Cao. Possessing superior military might, Cao Cao quickly scattered Liu Bei's forces and moved his troops to the north. His destination was the fields of Guandu, where he would challenge Yuan Shao for supremacy over the land. Thus, he showed a slight gap in his defenses. This was all Sun Tzu and Zhou Yu needed. They quickly advanced their men to Xuzhang to strike at Cao Cao. You... you wish to attack the Emperor? You've got it all wrong. Our target is not the Emperor, it is Cao Cao. It's the same thing! Lord Cao Cao is a loyal retainer of the Han. He fights for his majesty. Is it the soon way? To stab such a man in the back? Hey, that's not fair. We are a noble family. Y you're going to kill me too, is that it? Wait, just calm down. <laughs> What's the matter? It's not like you to be lost in thought. Sorry about that. I just need to be alone for a while. <sighs> we have Xu Chang surrounded. But I just don't feel up to battle. Maybe I'll go check out the surrounds and think. Hmm. What's with all the fog? So you had me killed! No. I have no desire to rule over the land. All I want is peace for my family and my friends. If you only want peace for your family and friends, then why did you need to take Jiang Dong? Jiang Dong belonged to my ancestors. It was our land. Is it so bad to want that for my family? Now you lay siege to Shu Chang, where the Emperor resides. You say you are not a man of ambition? Emperor is nothing more than Cao Cao's puppet. Cao Cao is too dangerous to be allowed to rule. 
So you wish to rule in South South Stead, is that it? You desire power. You want it. Admit it. No. I do all of this for my family. For my friends. One down. Many more to go. See how much you love your people now. Uh, hey, it's me! Don't you recognize me? Cut you to pieces! How about this? You! More apparitions? You need to see what you have done. You must know the sins you have committed. I am of Imperial blood! And yet you put me in the ground? How dare you criticize Cao Cao, you hypocrite! Sun Tse, you traitor! Do you forget who it was who saved you when your father died? Lord Sun Tse! It's good to see you. I should, sir. But wait, what are you doing here? My lord, face me. No, you are nothing more than a conjurer's trick, too. One down. Many more to go. from the past, then I have no qualms. I will protect my family and my friends. My father entrusted me with that task, and I will carry it out my own way. Whoa! 
Let's get going. Oh, one down. Many more to go. You have gone too far. It is time for you to pay the price. <laughs> Come on, man. We're not done yet. What are you? You were fortunate enough to be born with fame, charisma, and luck. Many times that of other men. Ah! Huh? Therefore, your life will last only half as long as other men. No! What the hell are you talking about? Su Gong will be avenged! <laughs> what is this feeling of unease? Shang Xiang! Zhou Yu! I know 
Count Shin Tsa was given a different task. But I'm worried about him too. But I have no time for that now. Our main forces must advance through the gate. I will head to the east. This officer bows before the might of the Sun family. Fight on! We must not fall short. This battle is mine. None can stand against you. to the northwest of Cao Lin? I see Cao Cao is refusing to send his troops from Guangdu. Where are you, brother? Without you, I don't know if I can do this. Oh! You just reached another level of brilliance! My name will eventually be known by everyone in this land! The enemy may be low in number, but they can expect no mercy. I will protect this town with my life. My lord, our lady is in battle against Cao Ren. Your forces are being pushed back. What? I must go straight to my sister's aid. Retreat! This is not the end! This one is heroic! I guess I need to pick up the pace! There is no you without you, brother. I know you are safe. You have to be. Come <laughs> on. 
Are you all right, Shen Xiao? Thank you, brother. You're braver than I thought. Retreat! This is not the end! This battle is mine! You will learn to regret this moment! This one is heroic! I guess I need to pick up the pace! Coming of you to strike while we were away. Your luck has run out now. You think you're real smart, don't you? Sneaking in while we were out of sight. You'll pay for your trickery. Officer bows before the might of the Soon family. I misjudged you. The blood of the tiger runs in your veins. Hey! And just where have you been? I saw what you did. You've grown into quite the warrior. Even a sudden attack can't shake your resolve. Brother. I have been a lucky man. I've had you, Shang Xiang, and Zhou Yu by my side. I wanted to fight more with you all. To build the land we all dreamed of. Sun Tzu! You're... I wish... I wish... I wish I could have had more time. <laughs> But it looks like my time is over. Sun Tzu! Sun Tzu! Do you keep them safe? Our family, our land. Greater man than I. Go. 
greater than our father. The rest is up to you. The fires within Sun Tzu's heart burned brightly as the successor of his father's legacy. But like all flames, his were eventually extinguished. Despite his burden of sadness and the weight of an entire kingdom on his shoulders, Sun Quan succeeded his fallen brother as ruler. By his side stood none other than Sun Tzu's old friend, the incomparable strategist Zhou Yu. On behalf of his new lord, Zhou Yu gathered the troops and hurriedly withdrew to Jiangdong. The soldiers of Wu were in a state of shock at having lost their ruler. Zhou Yu knew that it was not the right time to face Cao Cao. And so he professed that the best plan of action would be to lure Cao Cao to them by attacking Jing province. Within Jing were Sun Jian's old nemeses, Huang Zhu and Liu Biao. Further, it lay in the center of the country, its lands were fertile, and its population was plentiful. Convinced, Sun Quan followed Zhou Yu's advice and advanced his troops to Xia Ko. Following the deaths of his beloved father and brother, the mantle of leadership had been suddenly thrust upon him. In fact, the severity of his circumstances often caused Sun Xuan to question whether this was actually happening at all. Selfish. Lian Shur, I ask that you stay by my side. If I ever lose my way again, I'll need you with me. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> 